breaking news. My wonderful people, it's happening. A new presidential election prediction emerges. So this is the prediction, all things being done decently and in order, everything being done uh, loud and clear and done properly. They said if on, you know, on, on, on a level playing field, okay, things being done decently and in order, this is the person that will emerge with the current way on which things currently, everything is right now. This is what will happen. Well, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's understand what is going on. 2023, it's all over for Tinubu Atiku as new presidential election prediction emerges. A new prediction says that Atiku Abubakar and Shiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu will lose the presidential election in 2023, all things being done in fairness on a level playing field. The prediction was given on Tuesday, July the 12th by Professor Pat Otomi, a uh, Nigerian political economist. Otomi claimed that Nigerians are tired of the inaction of the People's Democratic Party and all progressive Congress and will vote for Peter Obi during the elections. The popular political analyst, economist analyst and former presidential candidate Professor Pat Otomi has made a woeful prediction that Ashiwa Dramed Bola Tinubu and Atiku Abubaka will lose the forthcoming 2023 general election. Pat Otomi, who spoke with journalists on Tuesday, July the 12th, expressed certainty that Peter will be the presidential candidate of the Labour Party will defeat the likes of Atiku and Bola Tinubu. According to Pat Otomi, both the All Progressive Congress and the People's Democratic Party will lose the, president, the presidential polls due to non-performance. They have been in office before, and there is no record to show to Nigerians what they have done. This alone is a failed map if we want to look at it. But the Labour Party presidential candidate has a lot to show of what he did when he served. Nigeria is at dead end. Nigeria is bankrupt technically. Nigeria cannot pay its debt. Nigeria needs a change, and that change is Peter will be a crusade on. Speaking of the structure of LP compared compared to other political parties, he said the Labour Party has a superior structure, much better than that of the APC and the People Democratic Party, which they currently have. The Labour Party is built around labor movement and a college of civil society organization. This is what we have. With the structure we have, I guarantee that this election is a do is a done deal and we will win. The rest should pack their loads and leave. Well my wonderful people, this is what is happening. This is what is going on. This is what is happening right now. You will be shocked to understand that, you know, some persons uh, feel that uh, Peter Obio, um, uh, Atiku Abubakar, you know, uh, have have worked and so it is their turn. You know, like we can hear some people say, okay, Emilio Kong, you know, this this is what is happening right now. This is what is going on. And then uh, we, we put it up to you that, you know, everyone needs to be very careful you know, at this point in time, because where we're standing and what is going on, all that we can see right now are clear indications that, you know, things are becoming more than you can imagine. You know, what you thought about and the things you, you know, you, you think uh, are just going on. These are clear indications that some persons do not want Nigeria to move forward in any way, form or kind. And so they are doing all they can. If you, people who cannot, for instance, be local government chairman wants to be Nigerian's president. And it's not because, you know, being Nigerian's president, they, they are sure, for instance, that they have all it takes. Okay? They have all it takes to, to make sure that the country move forward. But, I mean, some is just for, for position, the power, the affluence, the influence that comes with it. Okay? Others may want to work. But which of which of the sides of the bargain, whatever happens, the most important thing is that 
we all know and we are all assured that if we must move forward, things must be different and we must work at it. If we must move forward, there is, it is time for us to work and ensure that we do not allow okay, those who have continuously held us back and behind to be the determining factor. It is time for us to advance and to move Nigeria to that position and that place where every one of us can truthfully have, you know, uh, have a, a country that we call home and we are quite happy and satisfied, you know, so that if you want to stay in Nigeria, you can stay and be happy. You don't have to travel out for you to have that experience. People that live in U.S., they go to England to visit because they just want a different environment or go for a holiday. And if they want to relocate, it's not because they have a bad situation or they are looking for greener pastures, so to say. You see, when, we, when are we going to get Nigeria to that position and that place where everyone can truly feel part of the government, where every one of us can truly feel that, you know, things are well and then we don't have to go through Libya, we don't have to do all these funny things for Nigeria to get to where it ought to be. Okay, so these are things that are going on and um, why we need to really sincerely choose and choose very carefully. We must choose, okay? And uh, it, it is, the time to choose is now. This is the election period. Every one of us have got a duty to ensure that we pick the right candidate to bring Nigeria out of the current predicament. What is going on and all that is happening are fully, you know, recognized and know to understand that, you know, if we don't uh, put a curb to what is happening right now, the persons who we have not, who, who we do not, uh, you know, believe has anything to offer may, 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 you know, appear again. And we may have the case of another, uh, you know, uh, Buhari on ground. You know, Buhari convinced us so well. We were so happy and we thought that in 2015 that the change we so desire is now time. But well, little did we know that it was a failed, it was failed before it ever began. You know, little did we know that it was a failed venture. Anyway, uh, Pat has resolved and says, you know, what is going on is clear that from what he can see, okay, Peter will be we win. Let's watch and see. And if you want Peter Obi to win or any of the presidential candidates, go get your PVCs. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. Bye for now.